customize your Linux desktop, this is part two. Um, in the first part, I showed you how to uh, get Compiz enabled and everything. And today I'm going to show you how to change your themes and your icons. So as you can see, um, if I open up something like my file manager, as you can see it's dark. Um, in the um, out of the box Linux you get, uh, this will be a white theme. So I'm going to show you how to get different themes and where to go to get them. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is uh, open up your web browser. It really do it doesn't matter. And then, if you're using a GNOME, um, a GNOME desktop, then you're going to want to go to gnomelook.com. If you're using a KDE, well, you can just go to KDE Look. See, there's GNOME Look, and then KDE Look, as you can see, there's KDE Look, too. But for the sake of this video, I need to go to GNOME Look. So you just go to the home page, and I actually know of a few themes I'm going to get. So you want to go to GTK3, once it's done loading. Okay, so now as you can see there's a ton of themes, um, it's like, you can just browse for hours, but I already know what theme I'm going to get, so I'm going to search Zoo Quido. This is what's like used in elementary OS. Oh, I didn't find it. Hold up. I must have spelled it wrong. If I go to, I like to go to most downloaded or here it is. Sequito. Sequit. Whoa. So here it is. You can zoom this picture in. That looks quite nice. Yeah, that's like elementary OS. So, I'm going to go down here, scroll down, till you see download, and then I'm going to download it. Sometimes it'll take you to another page, but you just want to find the da right download link on that page. And it should be a, a zip folder or a tar.gz. Uh, All those are fine, it, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm just going to go to a different workspace, I'm going to open up my file manager. Okay, now I'm going to go to Downloads. Now, as you can see, here it is, Zuquito, Zuquito, whoa, <laughs> zip. All you need to do is extract here, or extract anywhere else you want it, but I like to have it um, in Downloads, because once you copy it into your appearance, you can get rid of it. So, here it is, Zuquito. You can just open files up and stuff like that, but what you want to do isn't on some files, you need to just open them up, as you can see here, there's a few different, um, a few different things, but this is the theme, right here, this, that one's the theme. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to open up your terminal. Alright, now I'm going to zoom in for the sake of this. Alright, so what you want to, so you want to put in is sudo thunar or whatever your file manager is called. So if you have Dolphin, for example, the KDEs use Dolphin, you want to do sudo Dolphin. But I have Thunar, so I'm going to sudo Thunar, hit enter, it's going to ask for my root password, or just any password. So I'm going to put in my password, hit enter, and then it should bring this up. Um, so now you can minimize your terminal, because we'll be using that later. You can bring this to the side. Alright, now this is the important-ish part. Still very easy. I'm going to zoom in. Alright, what you want to do is you want to go to your file system. Scroll down to where it says user USR. Double click, then hit share. And then, as you can see up here, you'll have user, share, and then here's all your files. But to make it simple... You just want to type in themes. Oh, spelled it wrong. Themes. It should um, kind of hi highlight like that. Um, so yep, hit themes. Hit enter. And these are all your themes. So if I open up, um, 
for example, if I open up <clears throat> appearance, Launch. Oh yeah, it's not working. Um, settings. And then I go to appearance. All right. So as you can see, right here is style. Those are the themes. So as you can see, here's Dorian here, and then there's all the Dorians I have here. So that's the right one. So, in here, as you can see, there is not a uh, zucchini. Well, um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in that folder. So, what you need to do is just minimize that. And then you're going to move this folder to this side. Grab, <laughs> grab whatever theme you have, drag it over, and drop it in. Now it's in there, so you can open up your appearance and scroll down. And sometimes you need to, like, refresh, kind of. So, I'm just... Okay, so let me open up my settings. Appearance. There it is. Zuki... Zuki... Well, I'm having a really hard time uh, saying this, but as if you want it, all you need to do is double-click it. And then as you can see, now I have Zuki- whoa. <laughs> so yeah, that's really, that's how you get the themes. So now I'm going to show you how to get, um, the, uh, the icons right here. These are like the icons, for example, right here. I have special icons, too. So let's go ahead and get those. You can just minimize, um, everything you have, except in your file manager, just go back to downloads. And you can minimize or whatever. But go back over to Gnome Look. Um, now all you need to do is hit icons on this panel. So here's all the icons. You can see there's Windows 7 if you really want that. I don't. But I have one that I'm, I'm going to search. Um. I'm just going to search, um, Fianza Cupertino, because I want to make it Cupertino. Okay, there it is. That's, it's not Fianza, but I want to make it all the Zuki, Zuki, well, so... As you can see, they look quite nice. I just happen to like the dark themes, so that's why I don't use them. Yeah, so those are, those are nice. So let's get those. So you need to scroll down. And then you can hit download, download on either of the links. It doesn't matter. There it is, downloading. Downloaded. It's nice having extra workspaces. So, alright, here it is. You need to extract here. Okay, now it's extracting. Alright, here it is. You can open it up. There's preview. And then there's all kinds of different Cupertinos. Uh, I'm just going to do this one. Extract here. Alright, there it is. So open up your... Where is it? Um, I think I'm going to have to open up File Manager. Alright, so what you need to do is open up your uh, terminal again and then do the same thing. You just copy and paste it. Copy, paste, enter. Put in your path. Oh. Terminal. Okay. Pseudo Funar. There we go. 
Okay. Yet again, I'm gonna uh, zoom file system, user, share, up in this column, themes, hit enter, all your themes are right there, and close out terminal, we won't be using that anymore. Except this time, uh, I forgot to add, this time, instead of putting themes in, you put, um, icons, because these are the icons. So you go in your icons, and then here's all your icons right here. So let's add, just drag it in. Okay, it's in. Minimize this. Minimize this. Appearance. Icons. I have to reload it again. Come on, there it goes. Settings. Appearance. Icons. And there it is. So yeah, that's um, basically how you customize your icons and themes. Um, the Zuquito, I actually found out, doesn't quite work. You have to get the, I got the, uh, I didn't get the updated version, so that's why I said um, Fanza instead of the Zuquito uh, Cupertinos because I didn't get the axe. We forgot to get the updated version, so, um, sorry about that, that was my fault, but, um, yeah, so thanks for watching, um, I hope this was useful to you, um, and also, I want to add, if you guys ever, like, feel like making a theme or anything, let me know, because I would be willing to install it, um, so yeah, stay in tune for part three where I'll be going over um, how to get different like bars up here. As you can see, I just have the default one, but you can get different um, different uh, little, I forget what they're called, title bar kind of things. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.